We are inside Asami's kitchen with the Asami and her kitchen. Like, I, I, I never thought this day would come. I remember he says Ono grind since 1999. I remember when you guys was in the Prince Puyo Plaza. Oh my gosh. This is crazy, okay? You gotta you got take over now because I'm, oh, I'm still definitely. taking this in. For yeah. sure. So again, we're so happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Can you introduce yourselves and then tell us a little bit more about Asami's Kitchen? This is my mom, Asami Shimazu. I'm her daughter, Tanya. And we've been in business for almost 21 years. We started off in the Principal Hill Plaza, a really small little hole-in-the-wall lunch shop. And it has turned into this where we can expand our services to catering, to um, bento, to fundraisers, to just about anything you can imagine a, a lunch shop can do, we can do now. We we're so okay with just being this small. People always say, you guys should expand to here. We're like, no, there's only one of her. I grew up on a farm. So, you know, the parents going to the farm, elementary time, almost sixth grade or seventh grade, I have to cook the meal for the family. She loves cooking, so it's always like ideas, coming up with different ideas. and Because you have to keep your menu fresh. I always tell people when my mom cooks, it's like she's cooking for us when we were kids. I'm being able to have everybody share what we grew up on and that's like amazing to me that people can taste the love that comes from out of her into the food and comes out here and she's just been doing it every day for yeah almost 21 years. Wow. You know it's family owned, it's family run and like that comes through your service and the food. So I think that's why people are so supportive and you probably have loyal customers that have been coming here since 1999, right? We appreciate each and every one of them, every time. Everyone that comes to the door, whether we know their name or not, they have become a part of our world. I gotta tell you, I smell some super Ono food, yes. cooking. Your girl loves to eat. <laughs> Can we go in the back and, and see what's the cooking at Asami's yes. Kitchen? So right now, Asami is showing me how to make kuroke which is one of their specialties over here. So what is it? It's mashed potatoes with... Corn and peas and a carrot. Okay, and any seasoning? Salt, sugar, and the black pepper. Okay. And then you, you go put them on the side. Yeah. Okay, so can I try? Yes. Okay, so roll it up. So yeah. is it, would this be too big? Oh, that's too big. That's too big. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'll go big. Yeah, yeah. It looks nicer than mine. I gotta keep trying. <laughs> Yeah. And then uh, we put panko, egg and panko, and it go deep fry. So, mm -hmm. so you're just gonna like right here and then just put it down. Okay. Oh. Wow, I'm a temperature. professional. That's crazy. <laughs> So 350 and how long do you leave it in for? Um, until it gets golden brown like this. Oh, okay. Cool. So this is one. I used to work at a movie theater, so the only thing I, that came close to this is making popcorn. <laughs> so. There you go. All right, awesome. Here we go. Karaoke. Karaoke. We just wanted to say a big mahalo to Tanya and Asami for inviting us into their awesome business slash home. I really enjoyed being here, and I also really enjoyed the food. So thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Waiver Spotlight. And today we featured none other than Asami's Kitchen right here in Kilo. And again, this is your host, Kulia, aka Kukula, with my co-host continuing to break his mouth. Oh, we're still going? Oh, come on, can you hear? And be sure to check us out on www.hawaiiverse.com, on IG, at Hawaiiverse, and on Facebook. So stay tuned, and until the next time, aloha! Aloha!